Bienvenidos, Usham Deed, and welcome to this HUT8 networking tutorial on the FortiGate firewall. In this video, we're going to talk about IPv4 denial of service policy reordering and how it does not work in 7.0.6 and it does not work in 7.0.7, but it does work in the very recently released 7.0.8 Forta OS software. So we ran into an issue where we wanted to reorder the IPv4 DOS policies, and we found out that not only can you not do it in the GUI, but you cannot do it on the CLI. And I'm gonna actually walk through trying to do it in 706, trying to do it in 707, and then showing you that it does work in 708. So let's dive in and let's jump onto the FortiGate firewall. So this is my FortiGate 60E, and as you can see, I'm running version 7.0.6 of the Forta OS code. So if I was to come over here to Policies and Objects and we were to come to the IPv4 DOS policy, you should see three policies here. Again, these are just kind of for practice, and the yield sign, pay no attention to that. It just means the interfaces are down, but that's okay. We don't need these interfaces to be up to demonstrate what it is we're trying to do here. Now, what you can typically do or what you were able to do prior to 706 is you could just simply click on that policy and you can see if I'm going to move policy ID 2, if I wanted to have that policy evaluated first, I could drag it up here, release, and then policy 2 would be here instead of policy three, but you see what happens is not only can I not move policy two, I can't reorder any of the policies. And down here in the lower right, you'll notice it's saying failed to save changes. And that's because this is a known bug. We had opened up a ticket with Fortinet and did some extensive troubleshooting with them online. And as you can see, it just doesn't work. It just drops the policies back to where they're supposed to be. And so you might be saying, well, wait a second, let's pull the CLI up. And if I was to say config firewall DOS policy and drop in here, if I say show, this is going to show me the same thing that we're seeing in the GUI, except in text format here, along with all the details for each of those policies. So you can see we've got rule number three is first, followed by rule number one, followed by rule number two. And typically what you could do is I could say move two before three. And all I'm saying there is move policy two before policy three. In other words, move policy two to the very top. I hit enter and we get a command fail return code negative 56. And that's exactly what we were seeing with 706. And after we opened the ticket up, it was um, communicated to us that this would be fixed in 707. And so here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade this firewall to 707. And keep in mind that 707 was a special release. That was the release that was to fix the massive vulnerability uh, via the management interface where an attacker could gain access to the firewall. So that was sort of a quick release to fix that issue and they did not incorporate this fix that they had said they were originally going to put in the next version 707. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say firmware and we're going to say file upload. We're going to browse and we're going to find 707 which is right here. So there is the 707 release. So let's grab that and let's say confirm and back up. We're going to reboot the system and I'm going to pause the video here while it backs up my current configuration. You can see it's going to download the file and off we go for the upgrade. So let's pause right here and I'll come back when we're back at the login screen with version 707. All right, so here we are back at the FortiGate login screen. I'm going to go ahead and click login. And what we should see when we get to the dashboard here, and let me just go ahead and jump by this and we'll say OK, is we should see that we are at version 707. And we are. Right now, remember, this was a special release that was to address that massive security issue on the admin interface. Uh, but again, our purpose here is to come in and take a look at the IPv4 DOS policy. We're going to see those same three policies. And my hope was that it was going to be fixed. However, you can see here, if I try to switch three and two, it just drops it back, does the same thing. I thought, well, maybe they didn't have time to get to the GUI fix. Let's come over here to the CLI and let's say config firewall DOS policy. If I do a show, you can see we're still three 
and then one, and then two, and I was gonna go ahead and test this, so we'll say, whoops, sorry. We'll say move two before, how about one? No, we get an error, move two before three. No, we still get that same return code, negative 56. So uh, if I was to pull this up here, you can see that they recently had these releases. In fact, there was only a week, seven days between the release of 707, which is the version we're using right now that doesn't fix that reordering issue, and 7.0. 0.8. So 7.08 was just released on the 13th, just five days ago. So let's go ahead. We've confirmed it still doesn't work in 7.07 in order to reorder these DOS policies. Let's go ahead and go to uh, system. We'll go to firmware and let's jump up to version 7.0.8, which is right there. All right, let's confirm and back up, and we will be back once we're back at the login console with version 708. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, so here we are back at the login screen with the upgrade completed to 708. And let's go ahead and get logged in, and we'll confirm. And again, we'll just skip by this here because I'm constantly doing the execute factory default on this box. All right, so you can see we've got version 7.0.8, right? Released five days ago. And this allows you to reorder your IPv4 denial of service policies. You can do it from the GUI as well as the command line. Let's watch how this works. So it's as simple as now dragging it and just dropping it right there. And you can see down here, it no longer says failed to save changes. It says your changes have been saved. And there's even a little undo, but we like this, right? So what if I was to say one and then two and then three, or we could put them in reverse order, three, and then two, and then one. So it works from the GUI. The final test is to see, does this work from the CLI? So we'll come in here, we'll say config firewall denial of service policy. And let's say right now we're three, two, one. So let's move one before three, and that would put that first. And if we say show, I'm sorry, I gotta say move. Move one before three. And that's going to move it. So I say show and we can see that now rule one is first, followed by rule three and then rule two. So let's put these in numerical order. I'm going to say move two before three. And if I do a show, we've got rule one, we've got rule two, and now we've got rule three. All right. Well, that is all this video is going to cover. Again, talking you through what you're gonna see with 706, 707, and you should, if you're running that 7.0.x branch of code, you should be upgrading to 7.0.8, so that, and let me refresh here so you can see it did reorder things. Again, the GUI needed to be refreshed, but you're probably gonna to wanna to upgrade to 7.0.8 to make sure you're running the most recent 7.0.x branch, uh, as well as getting some pretty nice bug fixes. And this one here is one that we definitely needed. All right, well, that is going to do it for this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.